So recently Mob Games released Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Finally, the wait was over, except I wasn't gonna buy it because of the recent controversy behind Mob Games and all the bullshit they've done. You know, it's not good. I instead watched my favorite YouTubers play it. It was lovely. However, one of my favorite YouTubers that was playing it also did a giveaway where he hides the keys in the videos and uh, I claimed one of those keys I was one of the lucky few that meant that I now had access to Poppy Playtime chapter 2 because I already owned chapter 1 and they dicked everyone over because they made chapter 1 free and everyone who owned it before that just kind of got fucked so I played it I did some speed running tricks with it because I don't know that's more fun than actually playing the game and uh, I decided to play it on the deck and I wanted to see how performance was. So um, let's just say that performance on the Steam Deck was not really playable. On default settings, the game runs fine for the first 10 seconds or so. And before you know it, you're in the single digits when it comes to FPS. This game is so unoptimized, it's unbelievable. May I remind everyone that the Steam Deck can run GTA 5 at the highest settings at above 30 FPS. Meanwhile, this game, you can literally turn it into potato settings and the game will still run under 40 FPS. Like, how? This game looks worse than a Kane Pixel video and Kane Pixel videos are meant to look bad because it's VHS quality. And somehow this game can look worse than that with the settings this low and still run like absolute dog shit. So anyway, here is the comparison between low and high settings. Um, in this video, you will see the beginning of the game. And uh, we'll, we're doing a few quick skips, a few uh, glitches here and there. So that we skip about 90% of the game. So it's going to be the intro. Then we arrive in the train station and then we leave. That's pretty much the entire recording. So that's uh, what you get to see now. Uh, low settings on the left, high settings on the right. And uh, between you and me, don't play this on high settings. Don't even play it on medium. Play it on low if you absolutely need to. Uh, because this game was so hard to play on high settings. Most of the game was spent in 8 FPS. It was horrible. So, uh, anywho, here we go. Enjoy! Alright, so now that we're in game, as you can see on the left is the lowest settings and on the right is high settings. Not best settings, because there's also best settings, but high settings. Now on the right we're a little bit ahead right now because I was sprinting a bit, but uh, trust me that won't last for that long. See, one of the other things I noticed with high settings is that the game lags so hard that the entire physics system broke. At some point, I was considering restarting the entire game in the hopes of fixing it, but I somehow got past where I needed to go and decided to just move forward. It's because he's very glitchy and then up, suddenly I'm fine. Meanwhile, on the left, we're already on our way back. That's how quickly we are on the lowest settings, because the lowest settings actually has proper physics. So we finally got the key on the high settings, on the low settings we're already climbing in the vent. Now performance on both sides is not that great if you think about it. Technically on the left you could pass with, you know, locking it to 40 FPS. But even then it will at times drop below that as well. It's, uh, it's a damn shame, this game actually has a lot of promise. The devs behind it have done some shit fucking things, but apart from that, the game itself it's pretty Sorry. well done, for the most part, but the I performance is absolutely horrendous. Get the power back on. Here. There we go, we get the power. You can see we are literally on 13 FPS, 10 FPS. I've seen this area in 8 FPS as well, so... And here we break the entire physics engine again because of the frame rate. And eventually just kind of accepts it. Way. 
the entire physics engine breaks. And I actually had to restart a few times. The, which is why this section is very bad. Meanwhile, on the low end, uh, we may go through it smoothly. I mean, it's 40-ish FPS. And um, at times, it's even a little bit higher. But it's, 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 it's playable, to say the least. But on the high settings, I can sadly not tell the same. It's roughly 20 FPS on average, if not lower. And the physics engine breaks so hard that many times it was just unplayable mess. I was about to give up and just restart the game when this happened. So I uh, continued forward. Now on the low end, as you see, the frame rate drops a lot as well. It drops to, to the low me. 30s to high 40s. It all is so much fluctuation in it. It's actually unbelievable. And uh, as you see, I'm trying to do the hand skip. I fail. And uh, uh, I tried to get the green hand early. So that we can uh, do a skip that is important for this video later on. Because I'm going to be very honest with you all, with this low performance numbers, I am not sure if I could uh, finish the game normally. Because normally you have to do the memory game and other things, and you need to have a decent reaction time to it. Alright, so now both are at the same point again. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So, um, let's uh, cut a bit ahead where I, at both points in time, get the proper hand skip so that... It's a bit equal again, so we can sync up the cutscenes. There we go, we got uh, how some call it the MILF skip, where we pretty much skip her taking our hand. And as you can see, the FPS at this point tanks to absolute single digits on the high settings. It's really, really bad. And it's such a shame, because the animations are also so good of this game in some sections animation wise this game is really good which makes sense considering the history of mob games but it's either low settings where the game looks super ugly even on the handheld or on the right where it looks way better but it just runs at 8 fps Yeah, especially in movement. You see how bad the uh, frame rate is on the high settings. But even on the lowest settings, without uh, lowering the resolution, that is, the game still drops below 30, which is absolutely unacceptable in my opinion, man. And look how 4 FPS on high settings. It's so unbelievably bad. Like, we're not only in single digits. We're getting so low that the frame time is a stable. The frame time is a stable line because it is so low. And uh, it's uh, super hard to actually put in the codes as well on this low frame rate, especially on the deck. Because we're not using a mouse, keep that in mind. We're using the touchpad and the joystick. I'm primarily using the touchpad because otherwise it's absolutely impossible. So uh, now we need to guess the correct code. Which uh, is going to take a second. Yeah, overall, on the left, low settings, 28 to 30 FPS on average. With uh, 32, 33 milliseconds. On the right, uh, we have 9 FPS with uh, over 100 milliseconds in delays of controls. Which makes this even harder to enter the code with. Um, this is why I'm saying that I don't think I can finish the entire game. Because if it ever drops as low as this, then that means it's going to be impossible to complete any of the mini games, really. Because the reaction time is going to be so slow. It would be a nightmare. Absolutely unplayable, in my opinion. So, after entering the code, we can finish the game by pulling on the lever. Which, um, 
I had a bit of issue with on the low FPS one. I wonder why. So even in this section where pretty much the game kind of is over, you know, so there's only one path, only one thing that needs to be rendered, and that is what you see outside of the train. And even this moment is still very low in performance. It's so unbelievably bad. And let me remind you, this is not because the Steam Deck is super low powered hardware. Because the Steam Deck can run AAA games at a stable 30 FPS at low settings. Meanwhile, this indie game with graphics that aren't even that impressive. I mean, let's well, I mean, let's be honest. The textures and everything. The style of this game is not higher quality than, say, GTA 5. And yet, this game runs super poorly. But that's kind of a trend with indie games. Bendy and the Ink Machine also doesn't run that great on it. But Bendy is acceptably playable. But this, I cannot say the same. A lot of frame drops, a lot of freezes. But now that everything is quietly unloaded and the GPU is slightly less taxed, the frame rate comes closer to the low settings. But on high settings, you cannot play this game right now. Maybe someday if they optimize it fully. But at this moment in time, absolutely unplayable. So overall, what do I think about this? Well, I already voiced my opinion a lot during the video, but um, I say at lowest settings, um, maybe maybe if you lower the resolution as well a bit, I'd say you can have a playable experience. But I also have very 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 low settings with the lowest resolution that the game allows, pretty much with the internal resolution. And the game does run better in certain areas, yes, but it's still not to the point where I would say, yes, play it like this, because now we're going so low that you can barely recognize the game. And this is that uh, very pixelated footage that's more pixelated than in pixels footage, which is pixelated because VHS. So um, overall, I'd say is probably playtime playable on the deck? Technically, yes, but... If you can play it on anything that isn't a Steam Deck, say a, an actual good PC or a cloud PC, then I highly recommend doing that instead. Uh, maybe someday in the future they will improve it. If Chapter 3 releases and I have access to it, then I'll probably do a follow-up video. Um, but at this point, even if Chapter 1 ran at full 60 FPS flawlessly through the entire thing, which we all know it doesn't, then even then this game would still not be playable because why play the first chapter if you cannot play the other chapters you know so um i guess uh, we'll see in chapter three if it's any better or if the performance is still this bad maybe in the future they'll fix it i doubt it because indie developers usually don't really want to put time into optimizing the game and that's why we have games like poppy playtime on the steam deck where the FPS can drop as low as single digits. My name is Tadling Elk and this was Poppy Playtime on the Steam Deck and I hope to see you all in the next video. Till then.